So this third part, serious talk to women, young parents. Yeah, this is it. So you can see, not every idea is transferable because we are living in a very perilous time, difficult time. When we are into system of government that's pseudo, pseudo means it's, it's, it's not the original one. We are practicing democracy that is not even original. After all, if you doubt me, are you getting the dividend as an African man? I don't know about you, you in Kenya and you in other places, but for me, in my West African country, <laughs> I'm not getting the dividend of democracy. And so that's the reason why when you know the time in which you live in, you should cut your cloth according to your size. Yes, that's what they say. So as a woman, insist on having two or three children. In fact, three is even much. Two is just okay. Those agricultural era, our parents, like my own dad, my own granddad, had 20 children thereabouts. The purpose that those children will equally help in cultivating these vast farmlands where they have, where we eventually have plenty of food to eat. You understand? Plenty of food to eat. And as somebody who served in the in the force, at the end of the month, he drew his salary came to him. Even when he retired, he was receiving his pension. He was actually enjoying at that at their level. But look at you. Do you have any of those things that the, 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 the old man had in those days? Do you have farmlands? Do you have lands? Do you even live in your own house? You don't even live in your own house. And you're talking about having so many children and having so many wives. You want to kill yourself and timely. And then that's the reason why as a, as a woman, as a young woman, insist on two kids. In Africa those days, when I started having my kids, uh, the, the mortality rate was high. Go and check the records. They are, the records are online. The mortal, uh, mortality rate was so high in the 80s and 90s. It was gradually that in the African countries, uh, to the help of the foreign aids, that will start having low mortality rate. But it's not even completely low. Go and ask the nearest medical center, government medical center, and find out the facts. So that's the reason. Those days that we would uh, give, uh, giving back was just a risk. It was like a woman going through hell fire and returning back alive, or sometimes you don't return. Going through childbirth was, was a very awful experience. Whenever it was time for the woman to give back, everybody was fidgeting. Ah, would this woman make it? Would she die? And because of the poverty rate, Instead of most of the women that had this uh, mortality, mortality is death. It's another word they use for death. Death. That death that occurred as a result of pregnancy and birth. So, as a result of high level of mort infant mortality and mother mortality, a lot of them didn't have money to go to good hospitals. They go to the traditional hospital where you have a traditional nurse who just don't have who just good, you know, orthodox knowledge of medicine, maternity and delivery. They're just walking by what I call the apprenticeship they had received. And that increased mortality in Africa. Many of the women who went to those uh, uh, traditional uh, maternity homes, most of them didn't make it. Because you know why? There are situations where a woman will need a CS to give birth. And it's the only thing that can save her life and her baby. But in, in a local place like that, where they don't have good knowledge and all that, they will insist that the woman must you know, give birth to the child. And such a woman might be a young mother who didn't even have the strength to push. And that's how they insist and they push and push and push and push until she will die and her baby will die. So. All those local places that where they use traditional methods did not help matters at all. And that's the reason why at a point some of them, some of the places were closed down by the regulating agencies. If you want to operate it, come and come and register with them and be 
legalize and get the right information on how to do things. So, woman, it's not good that in the process of giving birth to so many children, you lose your life. Who is going to train the, the ones that are alive? Then uh, my husband said that his father had seven children and I must give him five children, six children. But does your head support that? <laughs> does your head support that? When my when my wife had the a, a the, 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 the kid that took her through cesarean session and she almost lost her life, I told her that that's the end. That's the that's the end of the journey. She thought I was joking. I said that's the end of the journey. And immediately she, she was pushed to family planning. I said, No, enough. You need to be alive to take care of your children. And that's why you must not go for multiple births. As a woman advances in age, so the, the rate of mortality, the rate of dying in the process of birth becomes 50-50. You are aging. Stop it. One, two, three. You understand? One, two, three. Now, compare the life of those in the north. Every northern Africa, every northern Africa is not all. Oh, they are always different from the southern part of any African nation. Compared, they are different. The level of understanding is always different. In the northern part of most African uh, countries, you see people that that still follow tradition and everything. Everything they, they don't have nothing to do with uh, Western education. They say the Western education is evil. Western education is great and it has brought you life. There's no evil in it. There's no, no, there's no, evil is in everything. Everything has its bad side and the good side. So why don't you embrace the good side? So they will give birth and give birth a bit. Can, can you compare to the uh, South where they have, where an average family will have like three children? At most four. But in the North, it's not like that. The average is maybe seven. 777 seven, seven is the number. Is that not what they say? And this is not even seven. You, you may shock you that you see an average family of, uh, 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 with young parents having 15 children. What for? Are you selling it? And that is the problem. I tell you that this thing creates problem. I just God said, go and multiply. You didn't interpret that scripture very well. They are creating problem for the government. Look at your government now. Their hands, their hands are falling. They didn't even. They can't even provide job for the teaming youth. Talk less of the ones who are giving birth to now. And you are saying, what, what's the number of your children? 15. 15. You are not serious. Who's going, who's going to provide job for them? Who's going to send them to school? Who's going to feed them? Do you know what it takes to feed a family now? When a tuba of yam is, will cost like two, three thousand naira. How many, how many thousands are you going to spend to feed them with the two, with two bags of yam? So that's the thing. And when children are all over, the other time I looked at the internet, I saw street children in Nigeria. I made a video concerning this. If you go to my YouTube channel, it's, it's a channel that is dedicated to enlightenment. Enlightenment. Anything we said there is very similar to truth. From experience and truth. You see, are homeless children everywhere. Are they not? They, they are teeming time bomb that will explode soon. They are the ones that the miscreants and the terrorists find easy targets to use as, as willing victims. They are the ones that are being asked the agencies for trafficking in persons. They will tell you this fact. They are the ones that have been trafficked through the desert, through the northern desert, into Libya, into some Arabic countries. How many are we? How many people are we listening? I have a lot of testimonies of many of them online who come to cry and narrate their bitter experiences going through desert road to Libya and to other places. Because when poverty becomes the order of the day, survival becomes inevitable they began to look for survivor and they said there's a place you serve as a house girl hmm? you are 17 now you can serve as a house girl there in libya let's go 
you'll be sending dollars to your parents. All a lie. Exploitation is just the next thing. They get there, they'll be abused sexually. They will be, they, they, they be beaten black and blue. The money they won't even see. They become they become products. So we Africans are not the only ones suffering this uh, uh, this human trafficking, which has become it has become it has assumed a global phenomenon. In 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 US and other other southern parts and other nations across the sea. They're having the same thing, trafficking a person. Women have been trafficked and sold as prostitutes into the Caribbeans and so many other places where they serve as prostitutes. If you hear their testimonies online, you weep. And why did this thing come up? You ask them, they have the same story. Hey, my mommy and my daddy gave back to many of us. They couldn't provide for us. So I felt that I should do something to help my mommy. So I seized the opportunity to cross the sea so that I could serve as a caregiver. And <laughs> so be well when they say uh, abroad, travel abroad, travel abroad, travel abroad. You see online, some of them are traffickers. So. Some of them are traffickers. That's why this channel is to I'm going to end the, the lesson now. Some of them are traffickers. They tell you that, don't worry, we'll take care of your bills, everything. And by the time you land, they say they, they are, you are going to California, but when you land, it's in another country. You say, ah, is this the California you brought me? And at the end of the day, they say, well, you don't have a choice. This is where your money, uh, you know, expired. So you have to be here to serve and to get money so that we can continue to tell all the lie. They have become product. They have been trafficked. So beware, all of you in Africa, especially in Nigeria, I want to jack my, I want to jack my. Jack my simply means I want to run away from my country. Beware so that you are not trafficked to, you see a lot of fictitious agencies online doing abroad travel, abroad travel will sponsor your, will sponsor everything for you. And then when you start any money, you pay us. Some of them are not genuine. I'm not saying all of them are false, but some of them are not genuine. I'm ending it here. So the bottom line is, Put your cloth according to your size. Raise a portable family that you can carry. Yes. One or two. Three. If that doesn't go against the law of God. In fact, it's a sin. It's a crime. To, I'm, I'm talking to my northern brothers now. It's a crime to have children you don't care for. You cannot care for. It's a crime to God. Children you now live to become a menace in society, to give headache to neighbors, to become terrors to neighbor. It's a sin. Don't stop telling me that God told you to have many as many as possible. Don't quote that scripture. It doesn't resonate. Thank you. If this video has blessed you, please share it. Let everyone hear, listen to this. Let everyone watch this. God bless you. God bless you. You see those books, you can get them on Amazon or on Kobo. God bless you.